Hey guys, it's G. Welcome back to my channel. This week I'm going to be going from pantry to plate. I'm going to take everything that I have out of my fridge and then I'm going to look into my pantry and see what I can make. So let's get to it. So this is everything that is in my fridge. After looking at all of this, I thought of a bunch of different things that I can make and I decided that I wanted to go with what I had the most of. As you can see so far, I have two different types of mushrooms. One is a thing of shiitake mushrooms and the other is just a gourmet blend of a bunch of different types. So I decided I wanted to make some kind of risotto or maybe a fried rice. And then I realized I had cashews, so I decided to make a cashew mushroom risotto. So to get started, I am boiling my cashews. You can soak them overnight, but I didn't know I was making this. And I'm chopping some onions in the meantime. The cashews are getting soft, that's why I wanted to boil them, so that way they'll be a lot smoother when I make them into a risotto. I'm taking my onions and I'm putting them in a pan so that way they can saute while my cashews are cooking. And I'm chopping my mushrooms. I did clean these before. You want to make sure you rub them uh, with a paper towel so that way you get any dirt that's left over off. And now I'm just tossing my mushrooms into the same pan that I sauteed my onions in so they can get browned. Now your cashews should uh, get soft after a little while. I believe mine took about 10 to 15 minutes. And you can see here, they look just about the same, but if you do pick one up, they should be pretty easy to bend and break. I do know that I wish I had uh, cooked mine a little bit longer, but I do like the consistency that I got at the end of it. So I just put the cashews into a food processor and then I decided that I'm going to add some almond milk. So I added some almond milk so that way I can blend it together and make it into cream sauce. And so I can mix it with my uh, quinoa and mushrooms and all that to make the risotto. So here I'm just mixing it. At one point I did stop and add a little bit more almond milk. I just kind of eyeballed it because I wasn't really sure how the consistency would come out. As you can see, this is what it turned into. It was almost kind of like a cheese uh, instead of a cream, which I ended up really liking. I liked the texture. And then to the mushrooms and onions, I'm adding some sea salt. A little bit of black pepper. Some dried thyme, which really brought the whole thing together. I know that thyme is a big thing that's used in mushroom risotto, but the dried thyme I had really helped all the flavors just tie right up. And I'm mixing that around and letting it saute a little bit longer so everything kind of gets cooked together. Now I'm adding some spinach and I'm letting that uh, wilt down for a little bit. If you guys don't know, I really like adding greens to any meal that I can. And spinach is a great green for someone who has a lot of trouble liking anything green. It's pretty mild in taste and I love it. And then here I'm adding the quinoa in once the spinach is wilted a little. And what I liked about all of this is that since I didn't have that much quinoa, I really only had about a serving size. The consistency of the cashew, I guess you can say cheese, I think that's what it turned into. It ended up making the dish a lot thicker and a lot more filling. So I'm just adding that into the pan and I'm gonna mix all of that around and let it incorporate. It took a little while to mix. I think it's just because I was using a wooden spoon, uh, but if you need to, you can add a little bit more liquid, but this is what it will come out to. It's almost like a little bit of a paste. You can see right here, this is the consistency I got. And then after all that, I decided that I wanted to take the basil that I had and chop that up. So I just rolled my basil together and, it, and then chopped it. So it makes kind of like little lines or sheets, strips. Strips is the right word I was looking for. And I'm just gonna put that right on top. And there you have it. Cashew mushroom risotto.
Thanks for watching. If you like videos like from pantry to plate, let me know in the comments below. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos with my ninja blood bear. <laughs>